Hello everyone, how are you? So this video I'm going to show you guys how to reinstall firmware on any Samsung phone. So as you can see currently I have a Samsung phone and I'm going to show you, show you guys how to reinstall firmware on this phone. Alright, there are a lot of use cases for reinstalling firmware. You know, reinstalling firmware solves a lot of problems if you're having boot looping issues or your phone is not updating or if your phone was has full storage has been completely full and now it's not starting up or power powering on it can be useful and it can also be very beneficial if you've just got a phone from a retailer or a, which your phone is used and just for uh, peace of mind you would want to install genuine firmware on your phone to make sure that the software is not spying on you if there's no other harmful software installed already that is spying you or sending your data to somewhere else so yeah that's a great idea to install firmware after you after purchasing a used phone so without any further ado let's get to it okay so to reinstall firmware on your samsung phone you need three basic things uh, the first one is a Windows computer, a PC or laptop, it can be anything, it should be running at least Windows 7 and above, like Windows 8, 10, 11 or anything. And you also need a good USB data cable so that you can disconnect, that you can connect your computer and phone so that you can flash the firmware file from your computer on your phone. Alright. And you also need, third thing, third, you also need a good quality internet connection where which you can download the required files like firmware and flashing tool. Flashing tool is very small in size wise but the firmware file for these latest and newer phones is very huge. They can range from 5 to 10 gigabytes and you have to download that over internet connection obviously. And that's pretty much it. So now you have to first prepare your phone. Alright, so this is my phone. Alright, it's working great. Now there are two uh, basic cases in which you should be concerned about right now if you f the two cases are if your phone is working just normally like uh, my phone is working normally it's doing all the stars camera is working great everything all right uh, so this is the case number one and the case number two is when your phone is not booting or it's in a boot loop or it's stuck in on an error message or something like that so in this video I'm just gonna be focusing basically on the first case when your phone is working all right if your phone is not working it's not a huge big deal uh, it's a case number two and if you really want to make or have a video on that don't forget to comment below i will make a video about that as well soon enough but if your phone is working what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your phone settings and then you have to scroll down uh, to go to about phone all right then you have to find your phone model number which is different from a model name. The model name is of course Galaxy A05s. You can also say see this Galaxy A05s. But the main thing is model number, which is A057f. It is really important, and it will be help us to find the appropriate uh, firmware for this phone. You cannot install other firm phone firmware on uh, this phone. You need it's specific this model firmware only, so you can install that. And right now, let me also show you. Uh, and you have to also go into your phone settings and then you have to go into accounts and backups and then manage accounts and you have to remove all of your accounts from here as well so right now I have removed all the accounts but if you have logged into any uh, app or account like Google Samsung they should be listed here you have to click on them and simply just click on them and then you have to uh, click on remove account some accounts like Google and Samsung might require your login password so to make sure that it's really you who is logging out from this phone and after this we are pretty much done so what you're gonna do is you just have to power off your phone just like that and the rest of the thing uh, we're gonna be doing on our computer so here we are on our computer screen now now we're gonna open up our browser in my case I'm using Google Chrome and now I've given a link in the description so you're gonna click on that and then you will be directed to this page which is where we are going to download the official Samsung firmware alright as you can see it also says free official updates and firmware 
Now in the search bar here, you're gonna type in your phone model number. So in my case, I have Samsung Galaxy A05s. So the model number is A057F. Now as you can see, A05F Galaxy. So you're gonna click. And now scroll down a bit and then you can see uh, your specifications for your phone, picture of your phone. It's just there to make sure that you're downloading the correct firmware for your phone. So you're gonna just scroll down a bit more and now you can see all of the firmwares available all around the world. You can select any country from here you want. There are a lot of countries and uh, it's preferable so that you that you would select the country which you are living in currently so now I'm just gonna go with India here you can select anyone it's completely on you so just scroll down after selecting a country and now you're gonna download the latest firmware the firmware that's on the top is the latest one alright so you're just gonna click on the version currently it's Android 15 and we're gonna scroll down and now as you can see this is Android 15 ROM, uh, custom, uh, Android 15 firmware. It's on binary 9 and the size is 5.96, which means around 6 gigabytes. So we're gonna scroll down and now we have a lot of options. Uh, I recommend to use this third option, which is download from SAM4 firmware uh, server. I just click on that. Now click on download. And now the firmware will start downloading. I've already downloaded the firmware as you can see to save our time. So we're just gonna cancel this download. Now we're also gonna need um, a firmware or flash tool that's gonna flash our firmware on our phone. So again, we're gonna be using the official firmware uh, flashing tool from Samsung, which is Samsung Arden. I've also given its link in the description. After clicking on that, you would be directed here. So just scroll down. This is the official web page for Ordin download. Then scroll down, and then you know, click on the latest version. Okay, this is the stable, latest stable version. Just don't click on directly on latest update. Click on the latest stable version. All right, so just click on that. You mostly see an ad. Close that ad. Scroll down and then click on the latest version scroll down again and now click on the first one to download now button now it's gonna download again I again already downloaded it so I'm not gonna download it again so just to save time just close it now we have both of these files the firmware and the firmware flashing tool in our download folder as you can see here these both are. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna extract those. These are in, uh, currently in compressed or zip file format. So we're just gonna right click on this. I'm right clicking currently on the software. And then just extract. You can extract using the uh, inbuilt from the Microsoft File Explorer extractor. But currently I'm using 7-zip. It's highly recommended. So just click on 7-zip and then click on extract files. I'm gonna extract files to desktop and then click on OK OK and here is the software extractor now we're gonna extract the firmware alright now we're again gonna do go to 7-zip extract files and then and now back again to desktop click OK OK now it's extracting the firmware it's around 8 gigabytes as you can see 7.8 gigabytes so it's gonna take some time depending on your hardware, so we're just gonna wait. So now as you can see both of these files have been successfully extracted on my desktop. As you can see this is the software and this is the firmware. Let me now let me show you what's inside the firmware folder first. There are almost six items one of which is a text document alright and now open up the software flashing tool Arden and here's the Arden so just right click on the software run the administrator click yes so now it's saying 
please be sure to delete your Google account or Samsung account before downloading the binary. So it's the same thing I already told you. Then it's telling us to make sure to download the appropriate binary and version for your model. We also did the same thing. I already told you that. So now we're just gonna click on OK. Now this is the software. Alright, now we're gonna import the firmware into the software. This is very simple, just click on BL and then browse to the desktop, the firmware, file, folder, sorry, and then click on BL. Alright. Now here's the check which means the BL file has been successfully imported into the software. Now we're gonna click on AP. Now we're also gonna be selecting the AP file which is the main file and the most largest file as you can see it's around 6.9 gigabytes so it's a huge file and it's the 90% of the firmware is only this, this file so it's gonna be taking a lot of time while importing so just click on that or double click on it directly now as you can see the AP file has been also imported successfully there's a check check mark here which indicates that now we're gonna click on CP and then double click select and double click CP there's a check which means this is also imported successfully now we're gonna go with CSC now there are two files for CSC there's CSC and there's home CSC you, you need to select CSC alright double click on it now as you can see all of those four files are successfully imported now our software is completely prepared now we're gonna switch to our phone so here we are back to our phone and as you can see it's turned off already and this is our computer in front of you with this software already ready for flushing now we're gonna need a phone to get ready and you need a good quality data cable as I told you in the beginning of the video here is a uh, so first plug in the end to to a front end to a computer simply just like that and now you have to put your phone into download mode so this is very simple you just have to press and hold volume up and volume down buttons together and then you have to uh, when you're pressing a, your both of these keys you have to insert your USB cable all right and it should must be connected with the computer all right so power button so volume up and volume down button both together and then you have to insert the cable so three two one both buttons and then USB cable hold it then you feel the vibration and then you will see this warning screen all right so just have to click power or volume up button once all right here you are in the downloading mode okay the computer has beeped as well to sh just indicate that the phone is successfully paired with our computer now we have just to select and in our computer as well you can see uh, two indications that our computer uh, that our phone is successfully added which means it will say added which means our phone is successfully connected now we just have to press start and our phone will start to get install this new firmware all right so just let's start by cl click on start and the flashing has just begun now you can see the line up there as well as you can line see the line on your phone so you just have to wait for it to finish So as you can see this is now completed and we got a pass and now our phone is restarting as you can see now here you should not remove the data cable until it has erased the previous firmware so now it's gonna just show us the screen this is the screen in which it's removing its old firmware and then after that it will restart and then we can remove the uh, data cable safely so now it's restarting we can safely remove the data cable from our phone and computer as well now the computer work is completely done now the phone will restart few times and then we will be back 
Well, as you can see, we are on our home screen. We're just gonna set it up this phone up. So now the setup is completed, and now we will be into our home screen. Here we go, we can see the wallpaper. And there we go, the phone has successfully booted. Here we are in our phone. By the way, my phone has just updated. It was previously running on One UI 6, Android 14, but after firmware install, my phone is now on Android 15, One UI 7. And as you can see, the I should start it by alphabetical order. So to get uh, vertical, uh, app drawer now as you can see phone is still working great and i can also show you that my phone is still in official condition uh this is the same a05s and if i go to software information uh, as you can see we are on one us 7 android 15 right now and if i go back and go to status information you can see that our phone is still in official status all right so the phone software is still official you will get all of the updates on your phone after that and everything will be working fine hopefully so if this video has helped you so don't forget to subscribe to our channel like this video and i will meet you in my next video goodbye for now thanks for watching guys